Do this to trailhead. We're gonna get started in a minute. Thanks for coming along today. We're gonna hike Pratt Rock today in Prattsville, New York, in the Catskill Mountains. Thanks for coming along. Keep me coming on this hike. It's a little cloudy out, but it's nice and cool for a hike. My first springtime hike of 2021. You're invited to follow the serpentine half mile long path up to Pratt Rocks. Along the way, you'll find the original resting places that were carved out of stone by the sculptors who worked on the project. Also notable is the stone monument dedicated to some of the Pratt's favorite horses and dogs who have served him through the years. This is the beginning of the trailhead. It's all uphill up that way. The view of the valley from the rocks is awe-inspiring. It is understandable that Pratt wished to be buried in a tomb hewn from the rocks surrounded by the symbols of some of his major achievements. Only a small grotto remains of that idea. Water seeped into the area making it unfit for a burial place. The carvings are cut into gray sandstone, which was formed about 30 million years ago when the Catskill Mountains as we know them did not exist. The sandstones are now high above sea level because of uplift of the region. The rock layering is essentially horizontal, and the rocks are undeformed, um, the same altitude as when they were deposited. Streams have been able to erode deep valleys, and it's to this erosion process that the Catskill Mountains owe their existence. Since their formation, the Catskills have been modified by both continental and valley glaciers, which covered this region from 2 million to 10,000 years ago. As well as leaving behind distinctive deposits, the continental glaciers, hundreds or even thousands of feet thick, contained boulders and pebbles which scratched the underlying rock as they moved along. Some of these scratches, glacial striations, can be seen on top of the ledges at Pratt Rocks. It's a steep hill. This is one of our first little resting places with some carvings. Spade, a little resting bench. Another little spot to rest. A little throne. Well, that's where we come from. And that is where we're going.
Almost there. It's quite a walk. Everything got very quiet. Well, there's the bust of Mr. Pratt. Might as well start here from the left. Apparently he was a big fan of horses at over a thousand. That was one of the first things he put up here. Another nice place to sit and catch the view. You still see the tool marks. Eighteen eighty seven. Okay. All right, there's a couple I'm not going to be able to get. I, I believe this is family seal. And above it, that's the hand that he dedicated to the people, to the government, to, to the country. I believe that's the way he phrased it. This is the hand that works for my country. I believe was the words he used, something like that. My memory sucks. You know, a lot of this you can't really make out because we're too close up. You can see it great from down there. 1780, 1790, I read. That's a famous one, the arm and hammer. Bureau of Statistics, 1844. Up there, way up there, that's his bust. Without me jumping off that cliff, I can't get a good shot of it from here. Okay. Those are all the sculptures. Now there are hiking trails up here. There are beautiful views over the valley. You can come up here, have a nice lunch. I think if you get back a ways that way on the other side of the rock, up on top of this hill, it turns into state land. You could be hunted in season. You can camp up there, you know, backcountry camping. There are trails that'll lead into Prattsville where there's trailhead parking. All right, well, that was Pratt's Rock. One of the things that I pass by all the time when I'm driving through the Catskills to my camp, and I rarely ever stop to look at, but thanks to having friends like you that are curious and want to see interesting things and little pieces of history, here it is. Let's see if I can get you a better look at Mr. Pratt's bust up there. That's a tough one. I'll have to try to zoom in on it or I'll insert a photo of all of these so you can see them and I've got explanations for them all too so stay tuned for that all right thank you for spending the day with me here at Pratt's Rock in Prattsville New York in the great northern Catskills of New York State my second home I love it here 
Look at this place. Farmland all around. That's the Skohari River. And those are the Great Catskill Mountains. Now I get to walk down that hill. The man wore many hats. And I think you know, first and foremost, he was a tanner. He used that river down there to run the tannery. This has always been dairy country, so there's lots of leather around here. Uh, he made a lot of money doing that. He was also a congressman, a father, a husband. Citizen of the world. Now we got to get the camp before it gets dark. All right, we pretty much made it down the mountain. We're back down at street level. And I just wanted to show you this. If I remember correctly, this is the grave for his pet dogs. Let me double check that fact. This is where he buried his horses and his dog, apparently. Yeah, yeah, the top ones here. Bob B. A. Sorrel, 24 years. Boga Bay, 18 years. And Prince Gray, 30 years. His dog, Carlo, 12 years. Ruff, of 11 years. And Mingo, of 10 years. This monument was erected in 1860. Boy, what a time, what a time. Prats Rock, everybody, that's where we are. All right, we're heading back to our car. That's it for exploring for today, I'm done. I've got some work to do at camp and I gotta get back home tonight, so I've got a lot of driving ahead of me. Thanks for coming along, see you next time. Right. This is the town of Prattsville, New York. Up ahead on the right is the Bob's Great American supermarket. This parking lot is trailhead parking. And you can park here to go hiking, you know, backcountry in this area. There's parking way back here. And the trails go up into the mountain up that way. Looks like Jim's Great American is getting a makeover. Look at that, a nice porch and covering. That's great. Well, they deserve it, it's a good store. A good ice cream parlor here. And if you're in the market, Catskill Mountain Wine and Liquor. Good place to get your refreshments, adult beverages and such. Of course, this is a location of the, where the buses come in from the city, the Adirondack line. Goes from New York City straight up into the Adirondacks, up the Hudson Valley. Great way for city folk to get up here. And like I said, there's plenty of backcountry camping around here. That was just a quick look at Prattsville. A small village on the mountaintop in the great northern Catskills. It's a beautiful spot. They just put a new bridge in. Let's ride over the bridge. I'll show you that. This used to be a big green trestle bridge. I kind of miss it, to be honest with you. It was just off the right-hand side. Uh, this one, bigger trucks can come through, I believe, is the reason they did it. Thanks, everybody. That's Prattsville, New York.